What is up guys, Chris Designs here, and I've finally got a, uh, another tutorial. Well actually this is more, more of a uh, quick tip, but um, it's pretty cool. And you might have seen uh, Midnight Designs do something similar. I don't actually know how he did his, but I just uh, kind of recreated the effect. And the effect is um, kind of like speed lines or explosion lines. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll get the idea as we go along. And then at the end of this, I just need to um, talk about some other stuff that's going on. So let's get on with the tutorial first. I've got my background image here and uh, my render. So those are the two things you need for this. You need a nice uh, background image and then a render. And we're going to be applying the effect to the render. So I'm going to scale this down to about there. And then place that there. And then what you want to do is um, click on your render and do Control J. That will duplicate it. And then select the bottom layer. Make sure you do that. And then just drag it to the side in the direction you want the speed lines. And then you can also add a bit of rotation. And then do exactly the same. Control J that one. And then make sure you click the bottom layer again. You always want to be selecting the bottom layer. Drag it back. Move to the side. And then I'll do it one more time. Drag it back and rotate. Now you want to uh, group the three layers that you've moved. So keep your original layer, this one. Keep that um, on its own. Just merge these three. Control E to merge. And then you want to go filter and blur and radial blur. And then select zoom. And then put the blur center as down here. Just click in this bottom corner, or if you were doing this uh, in a different area, you want the you want the spiller center to be where you want the um, the speed lines coming out of, and then click best, and then drag the amount up to about 35, and then click OK, and we get these really cool lines, and then I'm just going to drag it over this one. And then you can simply select a soft brush and then pull the opacity down to about 35 again. And then erase some of the lines to reveal the image. There we go. And then you could also drag that down to about 20. Uh, 20. And then soften the edges of these. And there you go, basic speed lines. Uh, I think they look really cool. And you can play around with blending modes as well. Um, you can set this to different blending modes and it will give you a different effect, like exclusion. With exclusion, there's normal, that just brightens it a bit. So yeah, uh, just play around with those and they give your piece a really cool effect. So pretty simple, but I hope it was helpful. And now I need to talk about some other things. Um, firstly, do you want to see any Let's Plays on my channel? Uh, I've got two in mind. Um, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. That was a game I played a lot when I was younger, so I wouldn't mind going back over that. And I've just bought it anyway on Xbox Live Indie Games. And there's also James Bond Nightfire. I know uh, Kevin, no regrets. Um, has is doing this at the moment, but I also played it a lot. It was my first multiplayer game, but I did split screen, and it's a really cool game, and I'd love to do a let's play on that. So give me your thoughts of that in the description. Um, I'm also not sure if I would do it on this channel or make a separate channel. I'm not sure um, because I'm not a machinima partner. I'm not sure if I'm actually allowed to do it on this partner channel, but. Uh, either way, just say if you want to see them. Also, would you like to see uh, longer tutorials based, uh, kind of a tutorial on doing a whole image effect, uh, such as um, uh, 
such as something like that. You see there's like a whole image effect there. Uh, so if I can click this. Yeah, uh, like this, say, you want a uh, tutorial on a kind of, a kind of whole, whole end product like these, or um, do you just want me to stick to these short and simple uh, single effect tutorials? I don't mind either way, so comment uh, about that as well. And then lastly, uh, in case you haven't seen the video I put up recently, go and subscribe to my new uh, community channel, CodHive. Uh, it's doing pretty well so far, 160 subs, and I'd really appreciate the support, uploading some really cool edits, uh, all picked by me. So if you like my content here on Cruise Designs, then I suggest you go and subscribe and see what's going on over here. So uh, it was quite a long video for a simple effect, but um, yeah, so... Put your thoughts in the description, no, in the comments about Let's Plays and uh, longer or shorter tutorials, and then go and subscribe to CodHive. So, thanks for watching, I hope this uh, simple tutorial was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video, thanks.